Hi there. I thought I'd make another video highlighting the importance of transfer functions, and this extends from the segmented lower jaw that uh, I did in the video last week um, using the University of Texas Austin uh, Mongolian gerbil CT scan. So what I'm going to do now is go to that segmented out lower jaw, and you'll know what that is if you saw the Drishti segmentation videos I, I did. And I'm just going to drag it now to the main Drishti program window, version 2.6.4. And actually, before I do that, I, I want to give credit, of course, to AJ, who his videos on transfer functions are for a pretty old version of Drishti, um, but the essentials haven't changed, and, and you'll get far more out of those videos than you will out of this one. Anyways, transfer functions 1, transfer functions 2 on AJ's YouTube channel. I highly recommend those. So just you know, search for AJ Lamaye on for his YouTube channel and and watch those because they're very good. Even though it's an old version of Drishti, they're, they're still relevant. Okay, so getting back then to version 2.6.4 and the Mongol extracted lower jaw of the Mongolian gerbil, there were a couple things in my uh, segmentation segmentation video. Um, that they, they were instructional mistakes, if I may phrase that charitably. And one of them you can see right now, that line right there. And all this has to do, or this is very relevant to this issue of, of transfer functions. And uh, let me just point out the moment in the video where I did this. And this was the um, segmentation one video. I'm just opening up to the window of the video I did the other week. And this is where we were starting to fill the lower jaw, and you may recall um, I had to sort of dissect out the voxels here that were connecting the lower jaw to the rest of the skull so that when I hit F, the tag 3 would fill just the lower jaw. But what I want to point out here was when I shift left clicked on that to make that line to identify the lower jaw as having tag 3, the lower end of the transfer function was at 62, right? And then in the following uh, video, the Drishti paint segmenting number two, um, when I actually filled that uh, lower jaw, the values were somewhere between 80 and 90, right? I did a, a dilate command, D for dilate. Watch the video again if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and all those values were higher than the value I used to originally draw that line, which is which was 62. So this is an instructional error. Because what it ended up what ended up happening then is here's my extracted volume, and you can still see that line that I drew, right? So I'll just I'll go into high res mode. I'm going to hit F2, and it's going to think about it, and there it is. And you don't really see it in the high res mode because that, I guess I'm going to hit B to get rid of the box. Um, this will segue into the bits about uh, transfer functions that I hope you will find useful now. So here's my transfer function editor. And there's just the one transfer function, default name TF0, right? And let's try and get that line back. I think I can do that. So basically, if I have a 2D version of a transfer function and a 1D version, right? 2D just means I have X and Y axis. 1D is just, well, I guess there still is an X and Y axis. But it's, it's portraying the voxels a bit differently here, right? And so that um, you can manipulate this uh, transfer function by just left click on any one of these points. If you don't want to do the two of them simultaneously, you hold down shift and do it, and it, it will happen uh, symmetrically. And I can manipulate the height of this. And look, I want to try and get back that part of the window that shows my, my instructional error. Let's see if I can do it. I think it was in this low end of the of the transfer function. Bear with me. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. This bit right there. So I'm just now going to use the the mouse wheel. If you press in on the mouse wheel, you can move this whole thing around. And it's a little bit clearer now. That's that line I drew. Anyways, so um, transfer functions are useful because, of course, 
what we're looking at is a whole bunch of voxels in, in a CT scan. They're all at different densities. And so what I want to show you very briefly now is that here I can highlight a certain part of the image, which, you know, it doesn't look very nice. But it's showing you the, rel the, the parts of the image that are less dense, at least this part of the image is less dense compared to this part of the image. And of course, when you're using anatomy, if you're CT scanning specimen, specimens, generally speaking, you have the, the most dense parts of a scan are going to be uh, teeth, really, in the case of vertebrates, at least. So if I middle mouse, if mouse wheel click, let me try that again, I want to move that whole thing over to this more dense part of the image. And what you see then is just the, the enamel itself. That's much more dense than the bone and even dentin and cementum, these other dental tissues. And this enables me now to tell you something that you might find useful because you can work with multiple transfer functions in Drishti. And so I'm, I've now highlighted the, um, the most dense parts of the video. And what I'm going to do is name that. I'm going to, I just double click uh, in that area that was TF0, and I'm going to call it teeth. And then I'm going to make a new transfer function, so I just click on new. There's my teeth, and the default when you click on new transfer function is a shape like this. It doesn't matter if it's your 1D or 2D window, same difference. And this enables us to do a bunch of different things. So let's say I just wanted, I, I want an image that showcases, say, um, where the enamel is situated in this jaw. And if, you're, if I'm just looking at that middle transfer function, if I unclick the teeth, right, it's, it's highlighting that so the, the voxels uh, are, that is showing you in this 1D transfer function window is the, the tooth one, but what you're actually seeing is the one that's checked, right? So I'm going to click on the, the new transfer function, and why don't I rename it already just to Make sure you know what I'm talking about. I'll call it bone. I mean, it's actually including a lot of air, too. It's not just bone. But I'll just, I got teeth showing there, and then bone below. And I'm going to make that um, not include so much of this high end. And you can also alter the opacity with this lower window here, and actually the color, as I'll show you in a moment. If I want to make that more opaque, I move it up. Right? And if I want to make it less opaque, I move it down. Now this is useful because if I want to simultaneously show you multiple transfer functions, all I do is click both of these things that I've just labeled. Right? So the transfer function for the teeth now is showing you or is being displayed and the bone. And you can see then that the enamel uh, or at least the tissues that correspond to this more dense part of the histogram is showing up. And I can do a little bit more than that too. I can hover over this lower part of the transfer function. I hit spacebar. And if I want to make it more um, obvious, maybe I'll pick a different color. right? So I'll cl click on red and I'll hit OK. And that changes it to red. That's kind of cool. But I think so at least. And then um, whenever you change the color, the default is to give you multiple points over here. And I'm going to make them more opaque. So that, so that these things show up a bit better. Maybe I can get rid of one of these points. You just have to play around with it, uh, really, to see what you like best. But generally speaking, the higher you are in this lower region, the more opaque you are. And let's make the bone a bit less visible, so I can go even lower here to make that m less opaque, more translucent. And you can see that a bit better now. Yeah, so... Um, so if I, let, the last thing I'll show you now is I'll unclick my teeth now and I'll try and get that uh, region that I had sort of my instructional mistake. If I go back to the bone transfer function and I narrow it down to the region that contains my, that first uh, left shift left click that I used to select the draw when I originally made this. Let's see if I can bring that out now. I have to increase the opacity a little bit. Yeah, there it is. That line right there. So now, I mean, that's just an artifact, right? You do have to be a bit careful of this because 
at the end of the day, at least in biology, we want real tissues, right? We don't want artifacts. Um, so if I'm not careful, then you might be sh putting artifacts in your publications, and you obviously don't want to do that. Um, so in that case, then I just increase the the these anchor points a bit more broadly. And if I want to show that simultaneously with my teeth, I can do that. Okay, well, I hope that was useful, and maybe I'll make another video sometime soon. Thank you.